Peace family, Grand Rising. Take a walk through the neighborhood with us. It's a great way to see what grows well in your area. Y'all hear that? That sounds like roosters to me. Peace family, I'm making chicken salad today because my celery is getting too tall, it's getting big, it's leaning over and I need to start eating it. So I want to harvest some to make chicken salad and then I'm also going to dehydrate some. Nothing is going into the freezer right now because the freezer is full and i need to start pulling stuff out of there and canning it like stuff like the strawberries because i just stuck them in there while they were fresh so i can pull them out later and can so i just want to show you guys my celery Ew. this is the tall utah celery and under it i also have a pink celery that I would like to get a little bit more space. Um, and you can see it's leaning like out of the bed. And then over here it's leaning like on other stuff. And also I feel like when I let it get too big, see it kind of breaks. So I don't want that. I'd rather go ahead and harvest it um, before that happens. But I am quite pleased. This is grown from seed, you guys. So it's pretty tall. This is the tall Utah celery. So they were not lying about that. So let me get my harvest on and 
and I'll show you what I got. Peace. No, save time for later. No. Okay, so this is what I got. They're nice and long. I'm going to dehydrate the leaves too. I think I'm going to make a seasoning with what I dehydrate. So I'm going to just use what I need for the chicken salad and then dehydrate the rest. But I also need to harvest some bush beans. So, let's see how many of those I get. I have these purple ones. And I've been just picking all of them little by little. I broke that one. Because I think that's the best way to keep them going. I do try to let them get to a nice size before I pick them but I also don't want them dragging or like sitting their bottoms on the ground because they can easily get damaged like that these are kind of like intertwined with the potatoes which was not on purpose the potatoes were volunteers so yeah but i've been dehydrating these i'll show y'all just i'm building up a little jar of them and this is hard to do one-handed <laughs> i'll show y'all what i get at the end I'm trying to make some space so that the tomato is not so blocked from the sun. It's starting to lean already. There's a really good one, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Just a big old one in the back. Surprisingly, there's a bunch. That's the biggest one, I think. Okay, family. So we got a nice little spring harvest. I got some parsley as well to throw in my chicken salad. Um, we're going to use these greens in cooking this week or I'll freeze them. And the green beans are looking beautiful. And this is what the celery is looking like. I'm just washing it up before I put it in the chicken salad. But I'm very happy. It's growing happy and healthy and beautiful and tasty and I can't ask for anything more I'm gonna dehydrate the rest of it all right guys these are my green beans so I haven't done the batch that I just picked but I just wanted to show you guys what they look like in the jar you can hear that they're nice and crunchy I do have a oxygen absorber in here and I think I got this jar at TJ Maxx for three dollars I love that they have these little airtight jars and you can find them at estate sales and just replace the seal and wash them really well. So 
That's it. See y'all later. Peace.